Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna play Surviving Mars, or at least do the tutorial, because I got this game. Well, it was it's free until 17th of October, so why not get it? Um, by my understanding, it's like a Anno game, like where you build your own civilization and stuff. That's as far as my knowledge goes for this game, so I'm just gonna play the tutorial and see how it goes. Uh, in this, so we have got the basics. In this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate Mars, how to land a rocket, manage roads, and construct buildings on Mars. Okay, let's see how many tutorials we can do in one video, shall we? Interesting. What's my cam lag? No. Oh, I thought that was like a dialogue. In this training exercise, you will learn how to gather basic resources from the Martian surface, how to construct a small base, and how to refuel the rocket in order to send it back to Earth. Let's get started. Okay, I'm sorry for the cut there. I'm still like figuring out where to position this mic and what does sound good, what doesn't sound good. So you guys let me know in which video you like it more and stuff like that. Okay, so. Uh, effect achievements are disabled during all tutorials. Oh, okay, that's... Okay, and by the looks of it, on the top corner of the screen, there's a lot of information already. Jeez. Such as this one will appear throughout the training process, giving useful information on how to advance in your current tasks. Please dismiss this hint to continue. Okay. You need to master the camera controls and familiarize yourself with the terrain around the prospective colony site. Goal: Zoom in towards the suggested landing site. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do first is turn down the volume a little. Like halfway turn. Like so. If you guys can barely hear the music, let me know because I can barely hear his voice. Is this a suggested place? W A S D tilt or rotate hold. Now it's time to land your first rocket. Proceed by selecting the pint icon representing a rocket that's currently in orbit around Mars. With the rocket selected, designate a landing site on the indicated location. Uh, with the rocket selected, designate. Uh, use the mouse to move the rocket. Then yes. Oh, there he goes. It's a, our rocket looks like a penguin. No, shark. Shark penguin? Interesting. The graphics are pretty awesome in this game, I must say. Like, the colors and stuff. Like it. Oh, the little guys coming out of it. Drones? Guys, what are those? Oh, damn, you can really zoom into this game. Oh. Has landed on Mars. It carries drones, remotely controlled robots with which constitute your construction and resources gathering workforce. Okay. Gathering a basic resource for building construction is one of the first things our Martian base needs. Place a metal depot so the dro drones begin automatically bringing metal from the scattered surface deposits nearby. Open a barrel, then follow the. Okay, so is this. This is metal, right? Then follow the arrows to choose the storages. A depot. Oh damn! This game has a lot of stuff to it. Storage one hundred and eighty. Uh, use the controls on the S to pause. Plus key. Okay, so this is normal speed. Now accelerate the game to so the goal. One, two, three, four, five. Our rocket carries valuable resources that will be essential for the construction and maintenance of the colony. Initially, it's best to designate a universal depot so the drones have a place to store them. Place a universal depot near rocket. So we go to. Oh. Storages and there's a university bro. Wait, it's how big is that thing? 
Okay, let's place it over here then. Along with metals, concrete is the other vital basic construction resource. The concrete extractor building must be placed over or within proximity of a concrete deposit. Front build is like to, to build a concrete and place it. Is this concrete? No. Where is concrete? Production concrete extractor. Is it? Oh, is this concrete? Uh, place press R or T to rotate like that. Assuming an auto shift, place multiple. Oh, okay, cool. Well place. Done. Now observe. observe how the drones will carry all the resources to the site, and then construct the concrete extractor. Okay. So. Wait, they're gathering resources. So that's this stuff. Or what is this? Electronics, machine parts, polymers. So that's this stuff then. Yeah. So this was in the ship, and they're now placing it in here. Like most buildings, the concrete extractor needs power in order to operate. Having a reliable electrical grid and supply is essential for the success of the colony. Sterling generators are an excellent power, power source, but they are too complex to be built on Mars during the early stages of our colonization effort. That's why we ship them from Earth partially assembled in prefabs. Prefabs do not require any resources, only drones to unpack and assemble them. We've provided you with a Sterling generator prefab. Goal. Construct a Sterling generator and then connect it to the concrete extractor with a power cable or place a Sterling generator adjacent to the concrete extractor with a direct connection. Okay, so we go to build, power, sterling generator. Let's place it adjacent. So they're constructing it now. Cool. So Waste rock is a byproduct of all extractors and is best stored at designated locations. This way you can ensure that it will not be in the way of future construction. Okay, the amount of waste work per resource extracted depends on the grade of the resource deposit. You can select a resource deposit to view its grade and the amount of resource remaining in it. Place a dumping site and a concrete depot to store the extracted concrete. We got it all. So, production per sol 24, stored concrete 0 0.1, stored waste rock 0 0.03. Okay, then we go to storage depots. Concrete depot, we place that close to the thing, then we dump it inside. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna place another one any soon, but I'll just place it like in the middle or so. Drones will pick pending tasks on their own within the range of the drone controllers they are assigned to. Currently, all the drones are assigned to the rocket. When a rocket is selected, the work range of all drones assigned to it will be visualized. If the rocket takes off, however, all the drones will need another controller. Build a drone hub and make sure it's supplied with power. Uh, infrastructure drone hub. Why not let's just place it here next to this thing? So how many? How much metal do we already have? Drones run on batteries. That have to be recharged periodically. Every drone hub has two research stations built in, but you might need additional as the colony spreads out. Construction research stations, especially in along areas with heavy drone activity, will provide vital for the maintaining an, an efficient workforce. Build a research station near the concrete structure. Uh, I'm gonna guess this needs a cable. Let's place it here. Uh, power. Power cables. Uh, maybe that doesn't need a power cable. Yes, it does. Okay, so let's figure this out. So we got one here. And that's it, right? So now they're gonna construct this, someone at least. 
And now this is connected. Maintaining a steady supply chain between Earth and Mars is essential, especially during the early colonization stages. Every rocket has enough fuel for a one-way trip to Mars and has to be refueled on site so it can return to Earth and be reused. Fuel is produced in a fuel refinery. To set up the protection chain, we also need water. Build a moisture evaporator and then a ref fuel refinery. Life support. Moisture evaporator. Okay, so where are we gonna place this thing? Oh, by the way, let me... Oh, okay, so the range is pretty big. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, I'm gonna place this thing about, I don't know, about here. And then we also, okay, so that's in production fuel refinery. So let's place those like adjacent to each other like this. Okay, so this also needs power. So... How about we? Oh, we only have one, so we need more power cables. And can I also place one like over there? Like this? Oh, cool. So this has power. Connect them both. We don't have sufficient power for all the buildings in the colony. Look, we have. An, oh, okay. So now we have an extra sterling generator. Okay, can I like destroy cables? You know what? I'll just place one like here in the middle. Like so, sure, why not? The system of pipes is used to deliver resources such as water and air where they are needed. The moisture evaporator has to be connected with pipes to the fuel refinery. Okay. So that's some life support pipes. So let's connect this one. Okay, no, this looks a little bit cleaner. Like that. How much metal does this thing have? 180. This? 30. A lot of metal though. Fuel production is now underway, and the drones will begin to deliver the fuel to the rocket. Use the speed controls to increase the game speed to the rocket fuels faster. Effect, for the purpose of the tour, rockets needs far less fuel, 5 than it would during a normal place of 50. Okay, but I'm already speeding this up, so... Where's this fuel? Fuel, 0 out of 5. Let's see how fast that goes. So I'll I'm gonna guess we just okay one, but I didn't see a drone pick up fuel. Okay, oh no, he's picking it up. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now he's picking up the fuel constantly. And how fast are you producing fuel? So I guess every one it places a fuel pot down? Yes, okay. It generates around half a fuel per how many seconds are there? I don't know. Ten or so? Five se seven? I don't know. Okay, so it's needs one more. Normally it needs fifty. That's uh, that's quite a lot that it needs. Select the rocket and then press the launch button to send it way back to Earth. Activate. I want to see it. No, it goes away. So we're just the basics. Congratulations, you have finished the first tutorial. Oh wow, that was a pretty quick tutorial. Um, you've learned how to set up basic outposts on Mars and. That can get a resource for further expansion and feed rocket fuel, re refuel rockets. Using rockets to bring in additional supply from Earth is essential for a fletching colony. So let's do one more tutorial for the sake of this video. Play next tutorial, rovers completion and research. So we gotta play with rovers, interesting. Welcome commander. In this training exercise you will get acquainted with one of your most valuable tools. Rovers. 
Rovers are vehicles with a variety of useful functions like transporting resources, commanding drones and analyzing anomalies. You have direct control over all rovers in the colony. Select the RC transport and move it to the designated area. Now let's try moving around. With the RC transport select with Okay, so I can also do this and it will go. Okay, cool. The RC transport can load and carry resources around the map. Let's use it to refuel the nearby rocket. Use the RC transport to load fuel from the fuel depot in the base, then unload it close to the rocket so that it, drones can load it into the rocket. Drones can also take resources directly from the RC transport if they need them. However, unloading the resources quicker and will free up the RC for other tasks. Load resources. Ah, then we have to click it. So, control, load all and exit. Yes, load all. So, how much capacity does this have? 30, okay, so yeah, that's load all. Okay, 15. Now order the RC transport to unload the fuel next to the rocket. Use it and a spot near rock to unload fuel. So Okay, so is it going to unload now? Yes, it's moving. Okay, cool. Yes, I did that. Thank you. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait until... Oh, wait. Hold on. I can speed up. Yeah, right. I forgot about it. Oh, cool. Okay, so now the drones over there will pick up the fuel, fuel and put it in. Which, yeah, there are like four of them, so they're not really quick. And how much fuel does this need? 30. Okay, still not the 50 that's normally used, <laughs> which is a lot. Come on, little buddies, you can do it. 10 more. There you go. Okay, and launch it. There we go. And off it goes. Orphan drones with some drones are left without a controller after the rocket launch. If drones lose their controller, they will look for new controls nearby. However, when there are no controls nearby, you have to manually assign them to a new controller. The reassign command also allows you to reassign drones to understand controls with the heavy Drones to the resign command also allows you to reassign drones to under staff control with the heavy drone load. Okay. Reassign. Assign, assign to command center. The RC transport is able to gather resources directly from surface deposits without the help of drones. Send the RC to get us some metal, okay. Gather resources. There we go. And then we can also do this. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, I like this. Ugh, he's a dirty boy. One metal. Two metal. Three metal. Four metal and five. Let's set up a small expand some distance away from the main base. We will need resource for the new base. Your sea transport can be ordered to transfer a large amount of resource to multiple 
and multiple ghosts via the great transport route command. Okay, select the rover and use create transport command. The universe depot as the starting point of the route. Hold on, we have to command activate the Universal Depot. All resources. Nice work. That wasn't really a good tutorial in my opinion, but... And there we go, let's observe him. He's picking up stuff. I guess five of each. And then he will unload here somewhere. Oh, he places his own uh, universal uh, depot. Commander, one other thing. Your sea commander, commander is a mobile drone control that carries its own drones. With its help, you can get a resource from first server deposits, construct and maintain buildings. When moving far distance, the RC will first recall its drones before moving off its to the destination. Okay. Get us it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what? We need to construct a new sensor tower to scan the nearby environment. Use a resource from that the RC trust will deliver to the build a new tower. Po build a power new tower sensor tower that will help us scan the nearby locations for new resources and anomalies. Okay, so let's first go to uh, Census Tower, okay. Interesting. Yes, I know, we also need power. Yeah, let's just build it adjacent. Time to learn about scanning sectors and exploration. You can scan new sectors to sectors to discover more resource deposits. And normally, this is done from the map overview. Ah. You can scan sectors of the map to discover new resources and anomalies. There are two main ways to scan. One is to queue sectors for scanning. These sectors will be scanned one by one gradually over time, since they speed up the scanning process of sector sectors near them. The other way is to use Pro, which you can buy using funding and bring and bring on resupply rocks from Earth. Use a probe to restore sectors. You can also queue sectors for scanning. Yes, I am speeding up time. Okay, so you can do 10 max. Well done. Now it's time to use our fully operational RC Explorer to analyze the anomaly. Select the RC Explorer and use Move Slash Interact Action to order it to analyze the anomaly. 
This will take a while, so consider increasing game speed to the fastest. Yes. Scan anomaly. Oh, there you can see it. Uh, there it is. Yes, it's already uh, 25 hours of Earth. Jeez. Okay, so what will I find? Scan process. What will this look like? The anomaly has yielded interesting insights into new technologies. Researching new technologies unlock new options for the colony, such as new buildings, domes, and upgrades. Anomalies often provide bonuses to research, such as unlocking new technologies for research or providing research points. Open the research screen. This is the research screen. From here, you can choose and queue text for research. Okay. Uh, texts are divided into five basic fields and a field for her special breakthrough tech. When you research a tech field from a given basic field, you will unlock a new tech in that field. Breakthrough techs are special unique techs that are unlocked via anomalies. You at least one technology for research. Okay, so what does this do? Drone hubs are constructed with an additional two drones. The maximum number of drones is increased by 80. Okay, so you get two drones per drone hub and your maximum increases. Okay. Commander, one other thing. Each tech has a cost and resource point which are generated in various ways. Your sponsor provides some resource points to start with. Our colonists arrive. Once our colonists, you will arrive you will be able to construct resource reps, which turn your resource points faster. You can view a breakdown of the resource points generated per soul on the right side of the research screen. The right side. The left side, they meant. So it's currently only our sponsor, okay. Nice work. Now you know how to handle rovers. Okay, wow, that was uh, pretty quick. So I'm gonna end the tutorial here, or the video at least. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button down below. Say something nice in the comments if you guys want to. And I'll hope I'll see you guys next video. Yeah, see you guys another time. Adios.